crown prince. Unfortunately, blight is all over the place. This is the closest I've seen, but all over the allotment I've seen, everybody who have done it outdoors, they have got blight. As you see here, it's too damp. Rain brings the spores and uh, the plants in the moist and the damp weather, they just rot. It's kind of brown rot, like that. And you see the signs of it here again. Another one here. The only thing they can do now is to just get the fruits, put them in the windowsill or a tray somewhere indoors, and let them ripen on their own. Or you can make from green tomato any chutney that you want. Everywhere I've seen, this is the case in this allotment. And uh, I hope that ours doesn't get ours. I've learned from my first year experience that blight kills if you do it outdoors. Never done it outdoors again, indoors. Okay, I'm going now indoors in our own body tunnel just to see how they are doing. Okay, they look dry here. I should keep it for a while dry just to escape this wet period. I don't see any blight so far. Oh, I see one here. Is this blight? Yeah, that is blight. I have to pull out this plant. That's too close to the entry and it got blight here. This is the area that actually pressed the uh, black fly to kill them and the juice of them even made it wet. So I'm going to cut this whole plant. And okay, uh, me and my neighbor checked all most of the allotments from the way that we have seen. Many, all of the outdoors have blight. In my indoor ones, it's dry here. I can feel it. The atmosphere is dry. The only case of blight which I removed it was in this area, which was close to the entry point, and probably rain somehow came into this, or when I was trying to kill the black flies such a thing happened so at the moment this is the only case and uh, for a while I will stop watering them just to see how it will go and hoping that the weather will be less damp in the coming weeks Calls for Sunnydew and Captain Kid. That's the sport of the kids, orange red. Again, calls for Sunnydew, the sweetest apple I've ever seen. Crossfell Sunny Dew, large pump cluster. It just reminds me of that. Uh, Police helicopter who was filming the people in their private moments. They were cleared off. It's a food source. 
on the first flowers of the goji berry. And beautiful artichoke, curve artichoke. Peas and flies like it. As they call it pollinating insects. Oh, I didn't see this. This is the first year the uh, variety Beth has given some pears. It's the 5th of April, uh, August, and as you see, we have three pears here. So, that's the first one. And this is the early pear, so this is now ready for the Evening primrose, self seeded, never planted. And the last of the gooseberries. And the first leeches are ready. I'll keep it for my wife. She will like it. This is our onion from the set. Yeah, that root from the set. And these are from the seed. All this beautiful parsley, parsnips, and a big cluster of <laughs> raspberry. And the Persian crisp which I've sown one month ago is now going to seed. I will do when a new batch when I harvest onions. Between them, beetroot and more beetroot. And the herb like marjoram and uh, thyme and uh, this one, caraway, and the beautiful flowers of the lavender, some golden oregano. Brassicas are covered under here, so I'm not going to bother with that because the butterflies are around, which I call monkey flower. I learned it from my mom. But I don't know what it's called in English. I forgot it. And petunia. And the lovely pink flowers of this strawberry and the Beltran strawberry is doing well actually others finished and Beltran is yet going and it has flower has fruit and more fruit I'll just eat this one And this beautiful gem, which is the discovery apple, makes me delighted at this time of the year when I see that this early apple is coming to fruition and it's ripe. And it's not just this one, they have more here. And the grapes are doing well because they are behind the net. The chickens cannot reach them. And the conference pear is an amazing crop this year. Never saw such a good crop of it in the four years that we have this tree. Japanese wineberry, 
as usual, given lots of food. Lovely Shropshire down zone, gradually getting ready. We have some new lemons and even blossom. This is this year's fruit. And again, masses of Japanese wine berry ready to be harvested. And these are from last year, these lemons. And our Oregon blackberry is now in fruit. Fall is of apple before the chickens find them. And the conference pear. Again, the fall stuff, the last of the Morello cherries. Beautiful half crop of the Shropshire damson. I think this will be ready in September. That's beautiful. And the lovely Marjorie seedling plum. No time soon. The only branch which gave fruit was this one which I trained it horizontal. The rest of it uh, did a pruning just to encourage more branches. Our bountiful cooking apple has done well this year. I have to train it a little bit back this way. The whole tree is a little bit heavy. I will do it in the winter. At the moment it has a lot. And then we come to, to the sunset. This year again doing well. I have to catch up before the chickens or rats come and eat them. It has been told many times that uh, Donodocomis is a difficult pear to grow. Yeah, as you see, it's the uh, third year that I have it and it's giving crop. I bought this from the Ludlow Plant Center, so I have yet to see how it will do. Some more Concord pear, more Concord. Typical shape of the Captain Kid, as you see, this year it has given a lot of fruit. And Jupiter, which has not given much, only Three, three fruits. So, some have done well, some not so well. Asparagus has grown really well this bed. I have to come and read this. As you see, the Christmas potato which are planted here, they're growing, gradually coming, even the smallest ones. You see that one, they're coming up. And the beans I planted also, they're not doing bad. This is the late bean that I planted. And last but not the least, the rose. I like this rose because it was such a cheap tree. 19 MP. <laughs> From 19 MP shop before it being sold to the Americans in Poundland. And it has grown and given so much flower. Even in the winter, Christmas time, it gives a beautiful flower. Again, um, this uh, plate, whatever is on this plate, is from our own produce. Our bread, our tomatoes, our salad greens, our uh, cucumber, our um, runny beans, our potatoes, freshly dug, Casablanca. You may have seen the video <laughs> just a few hours ago. Our own egg from our own chickens. The only thing easier here, which is not from our own produce, is this turkey rashes. They are halal turkey rashes and uh, they're available everywhere, you can just buy them. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. And of course the salt, sea salt, is not our own produce. <laughs> it's the St. Michael's Archangel Church in the 
in a very tiny community. It's, a, it's not even a village. It's very small, a few collection of worms, but the church is very impressive, huge. And even such a tiny place, you have food bank collection for Austrian borders. It's near the Welsh border, so... Here even people have to depend for their life on the food bank. I suppose not in the farm itself, but uh, they give it to little communities like Osvestri. That's sad. Britain has ended up in food bank, a food bank country, after seven years of a austerity government.